What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to finally be able to bring you guys another video. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you already know what this channel is about. For you newcomers, if you like conservative content, you love this country, you believe in your police and your military, your fire and your rescue, you believe in the Bill of Rights, all right? You believe in the First and Second Amendment, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, most importantly, and hit that bell notification button so you get notified every time I make a video. Today, guys, I got a video uh, that I found with Taliban militants. Um, if you guys don't already know, Taliban took over Afghanistan. Um, they pretty much are the governing force in Afghanistan now. Throughout the Taliban's takeover, guys, the Taliban has been seizing all of Afghanistan's territory. They've been seizing uh, U.S. military weapons. This video that I'm about to show you guys is going to show Taliban soldiers dressed in U.S. military gear. And guys, honestly, this isn't the first video that I've come across where the Taliban seems to be almost celebrating and gloating at the fact that they finally taken over Afghanistan. I feel like the message is that Taliban has beaten the U.S. in the end. You know what I mean? Uh, I saw another video. I couldn't play it on YouTube because of the copyright infringement policy. But uh, pretty much the Taliban were out dancing and celebrating to U.S. rappers. I think it was Drake's song uh, or something like that. But in this video, guys, you're going to see some familiar weapons for you guys who served in the military or who have served on the police department. You're going to recognize some of these weapons. You're going to rep recognize some of the gear that the Taliban has. But I'm talking way too much, guys. Let's get into the video so you can see for yourself. If you guys ever was in the military or served on the police force or anything, you know to never, unless it's absolutely necessary, to take your hand, your firing hand off of your weapon. You should always grab with your non-firing hand. But you can tell this is obviously just filmed for entertainment purposes, gloating and everything like that. So right here guys, for all my veterans who are watching this channel guys, M240 Bravo mounted up. I don't know what vehicle this is. You got your Kevlar helmet, he has his ballistic shades on. Looks very US, looks very US. This here, guys, M4 with an ACOG 4 times scope mounted. I feel I've seen a video, guys, of where the Taliban actually seized hundreds of U.S. weapons. I might have posted it on my channel in a short. Check that out. But it was hundreds of M4s mounted, hundreds of sniper rifles, shotguns mounted up that the Taliban, U.S. weapons that the Taliban actually seized. So I have, you know, every reason to believe that these weapons were used to be assigned to some U.S. Uh, soldier at some point. But uh, you can see, guys, that this Taliban soldier here has a plate carrier on. Looks like it has the U.S. tan uh, color on it with the uh, M4 magazine pouches on it. So I don't know, it could be me guys, but this looks like U.S. military equipment on Taliban militias. And I want you guys to leave a comment in the comment section box below of what this actually means, alright, to you. Motorola radio, standard issue, military. Now, I don't know about the Taliban. I don't know if this is standard equipment for the Taliban to get Motorola radios. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I know that the military, U.S. military and police officers use this brand of uh, radio here. Got the military radio pouch. Okay. Uh, a general, U.S. general, Marine Corps, I believe, was in, asked was asked in an interview if the Taliban actually gained access to U.S. military equipment has the U.S. military who withdrew from Afghanistan destroy any remaining U.S. weapons, uh, computers, technology, anything like that. 
And the uh, uh, general, he couldn't answer confidently and be like, uh, yes, well, we, we destroyed all uh, remaining U.S. equipment, weapons, etc. And that he probably didn't answer that because he knew that that didn't occur. And the Taliban has now been equipped with U.S. military equipment and technology. And I mean, this is just a huge L for the Joe Biden administration because, I, like I said, when Trump was in office, I never even heard about Taliban. Taliban didn't even exist. You know what I mean? I know they existed, but I never really heard any news coverage on Taliban or ISIS. Joe Biden gets in office. Not only did the Taliban take over Afghanistan, but now they're armed with U.S. military equipment. M4, collapsed bus stop, ACOG, four times scope, looks like a double, dual magazine holder, four grip right here, laser sight right here. These guys are armed up. These guys are armed up. This is a U.S. military standard issue rifle. And for anybody who's ever served in uh, the army, any military or police force, you know what this is just by looking at it. You know what I mean? I don't think uh, the Taliban had access to this until they took over Afghanistan, until the U.S. pulled out. You know what I mean? And if you voted for Joe Biden and you're watching this video, guys, this here, this, this video that I'm showing you guys should really make you have buyer's remorse and make you rethink your decisions coming 2024. the <laughs> I wish I spoke whatever language he's speaking so I could tell you guys what he's saying. But I'm just, you know, if I was a better man, I'd wager he's talking a lot of S H I, you know what. Alright, guys, that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, guys, you know, the Taliban, they definitely got to win with this one, alright? A lot of people, um, from my research and just reading on different articles from different news media outlets, um, US, U.S. citizens don't disagree that it was long overdue that U.S. military personnel should have been pulled back out of Afghanistan. A lot of people even think that the U.S. really didn't have any business there to begin with. But what was the whole purpose of going to Afghanistan, going to the Middle East, who who made that decision to say, this is where we need to start setting up bases. We need to start establishing a presence here. Why? What was there? You know what I mean? Because Saddam Hussein was killed. Son of Bin Laden was killed. After that, what was the purpose of being in uh, uh, Iraq or Afghanistan? The issue that some people are having is how the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan and Iraq. It's almost like at the last hour, you know, at the final moment, that's when all the U.S. troops pulled out of Afghanistan. What about all the Afghanistan citizens who assisted U.S. troops, okay, U.S. units to uh, get an edge up over the Taliban, all right? You know what I mean? You have some Afghanistan citizens who serve as interpreters and et cetera assisting the U.S. against the Taliban. There are some Afghanistan citizens who risk their lives, uh, risk being exposed as U.S. allies that are still in Afghanistan today. You know, where? what about fulfilling the promise of getting those people safe haven? You see what I'm saying? That's the problem that I have with it, and that's the problem I think that majority of people uh, who've been uh, following this situation with the Taliban has with this current presidency. OK, because these people are just out and about in Afghanistan and the Taliban have the ability to figure out who these people are. Who are these people assisting the U.S.? And if any of these people who may have assisted the U.S. at any point gets caught by the Taliban now in Afghanistan, you already know what's going to happen. There should have been an exit plan, in my opinion, of how the U.S. was, was to pull out of Afghanistan. 
It, it shouldn't have been, we're just going to drop everything, delete files, destroy computers, leave all of our weapons, our weapon stashes and everything. We're going to leave all that behind, just get out of Afghanistan. It shouldn't have been like that. But that's just my opinion, guys. I could be wrong about this. I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more content.